I only went to a flipping boot sale, didn't I? I didn't record, but I'm gonna bring the stuff in and we'll show you what we picked up, some cool, cool bits. I did actually go live on TikTok for an hour of my first time there, and it done really well. People seem to enjoy watching live streaming of going around a boot sale. So if you are into that kind of thing, links in the description down below, along with all my other links, TikTok, follow me along, and next time I go live, you'll catch me there. Well, let me go and get the stuff. I was actually really picky today, but it was worth it. I picked up three sets of bowls. Like I need any more bowls. Right, let's have a quick little look through this, shall we? We'll face it this way to keep you away from the sunshine. First up is this Melka jumper. I'd never heard of the brand before, but I took a risk on it because why not? I liked it. That was my main thing. Melka, Scandinavian menswear since 1946. It is a cotton jumper. The reason why I picked it up is because if it's not worth anything, I like it. It's a nice one. I don't know what the size is, but that'll fit me, won't it? I think it's worth about seven or ten quid from when I looked at it. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, Umbro tracksuit. We have the bottoms and we have the top as well to match, which is obviously always handy. For the pair of those, it was two pound. That's a bargain. Probably list that on vintage straight away for 13 pound and get it gone. Ladies sea salt jumper, pretty faded, but it's still a nice autumn top. I know we're not in autumn just yet, but for two pound, again, probably list that for six to eight on vintage and just get it moved on now they're all from the same store my mindset is if i can purchase multiple things it brings the average down does that make sense so i spent two quid for six quid there you know if i sell the jumper alone the sea salt for six quid everything else is free and i say six quid on vintage now this one i'm going to need to do a little bit of research on it is an old fruit of the loom top on the old fruit of the loom tag 1993 radford university Jeet Kundo vest. It's weathered, it's worn, it has a couple of little holes just here, but that just adds to the character of it. I think it was a pound, if that. So, no idea on value. It might not be worth a lot at all, it might just be worth something to the person, but I still think it's a big size. It's a vest, some is here, big graphic, it's cool, it's old. There's got to be something in it, isn't there? And it's nice to see single stitch fruit of the loom. Some caps now. This one was from a couple that. I actually watched the channel. I didn't catch your names. I forget. I think it's something like Hotbox on eBay. I think something like that. But shout out to you. 50 pence for this Tesco cap. No idea what it's worth. But it's got that uh, like Nike TN kind of shape to it, hasn't it? You know, that that panel in. Dope. 50p. Tesco's were moving. Dizzy. Lady Gaga hat. The sixth album by Lady Gaga. So what's that? 2000 and... I don't know. Can't see a date there. Don't know, can't see a date. Don't really care. Uh, it was 50p, I think, or a pound. It's probably worth something to someone, even I'll wear that. And then I paid a fiver for this, which is a lot for me to pay for a hat at a car boot sale, but it's a cool one. It's a Nike Air Max uh, adjustable cap at the back. That nice shiny material. Nice little hit just there. Uh, fiver. If, I, if, it, if it's not worth more than 15 quid, I'll keep it for myself. I saw Zoe and her friend. Damn, I got your name wrong on the first time. I'm not going to do it live on camera, but I saw Zoe and her friend there as well, live in the flesh. So good to see you, mate. Next, one of my favourite pickups when I first got there. £2 this morning for this vintage Lynx dry set. This is Lynx Pulse. I haven't even checked to see if it's in there, to be fair. Yeah, I do believe this is like early 2000s, 2003, I think. I could be very, very wrong, though. But I'm pretty sure. But I'll do some research. I've seen a couple of sets similar to this sell for like 50, 60 quid. So hopefully we can do well on that. Here you go, look. Lynx dry, two antiperspirants alone sold for 49.99 after shave used sold for 25 uh 89 86 is a bit different though but yeah we'll see we shall see hopefully we do all right there and then for a fiver we picked up the pure chronos 2 dab radio uh, i believe you can actually dock an iphone to this somehow actually maybe it's not this one but fiver 20 quid back on that quick as well body 1999 free postage we will do well 1997 kyle self pack money pot uh, paid two pound for this this should be a quick 17 18 pound back quite fast especially with the bung in the bottom no splits no cracks really really nice piece if i ha again if i was keeping this place like i used to before I used to put things on shelves i would probably keep it but two pound into 17 we're golden Peekaboo Elmo, I think that was a pound or two pound. That'll be 
10 quid back on that, but I bought something else with it. I think it was this I bought with it. The uh, Pokemon Pokeball plush. I've sold this before for like nine quid. So I bought that with that. Two pound each, I think it was, or a pound each, just to average it down. I'll sell one to make the other one free, and then that'll be all my profit, plus whatever profit I'll make on the original item. Uh, massively overpaid for this. I think it was two pound, and I've done two things. I brought two things for three quid or something. It sells for about three quid. Didn't realise. I just wanted to take a punt. Today was all about punting, just getting myself back into the field and just having a having a chilled walk around, buying a few things and getting back into the swing of it. Still pretty decent though. Uh, 20p, I think I paid 50p because I didn't have any change and I wasn't waiting around and it's still a bargain for this Jurassic Park figure. Uh, probably like nine quid back if that. I don't know on this one. It's Betty Boop coin purse. It's definitely older because of the construct of it. You know, people aren't doing that anymore cheaply. I need to do some more research on it. I've got no idea on the price at all. But for 50p, Betty Boop stuff, especially older, can sometimes be sky high. So if you're out there and you see stuff like that and it's 50p and you don't know, just get it. Some vintage 1999 German registration plates. I paid three quid. Again, I don't know why. I was just I was just gambling. But the bloke that I spoke to, I gave him my number. He does house clearances. Well, actually, he buys off people who do house clearances and sometimes has to turn stuff down. So I said, call me first before you turn it down and I'll meet you somewhere. But I don't know what they're going to be. Hopefully 20 quid. Don't know. I was just buying today. I'm going to bring you over for this one. I've got three more sets of bowls. I don't think they're the all marked ones that are in there. They might be though. Tyrolite. They're Taylor Rolfs they are. So we've got some Taylor Rolfs. And we've got some. Oh these are nice. Sterling Kings. They are a size 3 which isn't too bad. They're pretty nice. I don't know about the price of them just yet. And we've got. I've got some stuff in the top here as well. What's this? Bowls cloth. Nice little carling beer mat. There's five quid there. He said it was his father's. He passed away. Lansoprazole. Some that can go in the bin. Purse. And what's in there? Imagine. Wedge and chalk. Now, who made the purse before I go and just bin that? Anybody in particular? Don't think so. Seems shame just throwing things away, but you know, you have to sometimes. League table. Oh, some glasses. Come on, be some good ones. They're mouldy, whatever they are. You can't see what they are. Where are you going, darling? Oh, you look super cool, don't you? Hey? Where are you going? Sun's out. <clears throat> spec savers. Anyway. Spec savers. I can go in the bin. Hey, to leave things alone, darling, for a minute. Bye bye. 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 You did. I love it. Yeah. Careful, don't break it. I love that. Bye. Love you, bye. You said hi, didn't you? <laughs> and the second pair. Oh, we're just here. And the last set is. Also full of stuff in the top. What's that one? Those annoying things to get off of the bowls. No. Not much in there. Let's look at the actual bowls. These are Drake's Prides. So they're pretty nice. Size ones, perfect. There we go, there's the money there. Let's have a look and see what they are. Uh, about £160 these are going for, give or take. I'll show you on the screenshot. So if my research is correct, they're about £160 for that set. I paid, he wanted £8 a set, he had four sets. I did leave one behind. Probably shouldn't have done, but they were a bit knackered, the wooden ones and I just, I've sold them before, I've sold wooden ones before for like 40 quid. But I wanted ones that were going to move quick. He wanted £8 a set, I offered him 20 for three sets, he said yes. So we've done well there. Now of course I've saved the best till last. I don't know what they're worth, I've got a rough idea. But they're fucking cool. Well, some of you might not think it, but... So in here... 
I'll stick to the subject first. So in here we've got VHS, vintage extreme board snowboarding, some more snowboarding and wakeboarding, snowboarding again, and extreme skateboarding. How fucking cool are these? Now this one here is sold for 90 quid alone, that's already sold. However, this one doesn't have the label on, so I'm gonna risk it in my tape player and try and test it. This one, now and later, is listed for 50. This one sold for 90. And I don't know about the rest. I wasn't bothered. They wanted three pound each. There's 10 there. He said 20 is a deal. I said 15, please. He said, okay. But I'm hoping that this one here, even I'm hoping that what's on the tape is what's on the tape and the label on the inside will of course affect the value. But if this one has sold for 90, and it is what it is, I've got a machine just there. Machine, what an old man. Then I'll probably list this at 70 quid and take offers just get it shifted do you know what i mean and that one i just love the vintage 90s sort of style of things very keith herring isn't it that design i wonder if keith herring actually had a part in that no not as far as i can see but do you know what i mean very very herring just so just brings back the nostalgia but yeah that was like 15 quid so what did i spend 15, 25, no, 20. Oh, got some more bits here. I've got some more bits that I forgot to, I've got some more bits that I forgot to show you. So Under Armours, these were two quid. I bought them because they were two quid and they are size 42 waist. And look like they're in immaculate condition. So hopefully about 15, 20 back on those because of the size. And a deal on no deal board game, it is opened, but inside is sealed. never been used so i think it's probably a 35 40 pound game opened never used sealed contents i think if it was sealed on the outside it's like a 50 quid game but that was my pickups today so i think the highlights are going to be the vhs and the links dry obviously the bowls are nice but they're very boring they're very standard and i want to look into that jeet kondo vest but like i say today was more of a breakout session i'm still poorly i'm still ill i still have stuffed up nose do have headaches still feel a bit weak i'm not eating properly boo hoo but my point is it was just a chill day today and i got there late and everything so we still did okay just goes to show i was there an hour and a half after it opened and still do well but as mentioned i did go live on tiktok for an hour of the way around there so if you enjoy that kind of thing link to my tiktok channel is down below and hopefully i will see you there bit of a strange structured video today but it is what it is and again thank you to everyone that came up to me and said hello today i really appreciate that i like it when you do hopefully i'll see you again soon consider liking the video on the way out and i'll see you on the next one bye <laughs>